welcome back so my uh, sprite pro extruder stopped uh, extruding uh, a few days ago uh, and today I'm gonna show you how I am diagnosing uh, where the problem uh, lies uh, I've already replaced the extruder motor itself uh, unfortunately in this model these aren't the same as the other stepper motors uh, if you have an older ender you can just replace and see if it's easy enough so I ended up buying one and they're both not working uh, I've tested so everything seems to be working okay so the next step will be trying to diagnose where the issue is coming from so it could be the wire like this this main cable here which is leading to the motherboard or the motherboard itself so I'm gonna start with the easy bit so first of all I will make sure everything is not broken you know all the pins they're not bent or anything uh, and by the way the extruder uh, the stepper motors on the extruder they are the first few pins and they are linked to the uh, little connector here so it could be also part of the little uh, boards that you have in the header here in the case of the sprite pro so i'll start with the simple one which is this main lead it goes into the motherboard so you just unplug that and uh, again you need to make sure um, this is going all the way through the motherboard so I've already unplugged that from the motherboard and if you look you have more pins in this side and that's because it goes to the axis so the easy way to identify which way is which is looking at this white wire so the white wire is where you connect to the stepper motors so again it's the first four pins in that connector and then on the other side you can also find the white wires so the four, first ones on the left hand side here and all you're gonna need is a pair of needles if your multimeter is not uh, thin enough it, the probes are not thin enough and that's because the pins are really really tiny so a pair of needles will do and a multimeter if you never use a multimeter before all you gotta do is to put here in these ohm signs that means resistance or in my case here I'm gonna use the continuity test which is a little buzzer and then you make sure you have the probes connected to the right port so again look at the ohm side and the uh, com my multimeter here I just press and I'll have a little buzzer if the probes touch and that's all I need to know Because the probes are a bit too thick for the connector all you gotta do is to connect the needles using duct tape or something else and make sure they're still buzzing as you touch them that's all you need to be very sure about so I've secured my connectors here and like I said I'll start from the left hand side so I'll put one probe in one end and the second probe on the matching pin on the other connector you should hear a buzz if everything is okay you move on to the next one to the right and there is no sound so that is a good indication that that might be my problem so I move on to the next one and that works so it looks like that first pin on the left hand side there is the cause of my problem so I'll double check that and again no sound wiggle it a little bit move on to the other one just to make sure and yep continuity so the problem lies on that one and because I'm gonna replace this anyway I've just stripped that out and guess what I found a little cut in the white wire and that's because the movement of the printer kind of a bends that thousands of times every print like that and ended up splitting and the second one is almost going as well so time for a replacement so I bought a new cable of Amazon this is the old one I've already replaced that it's very straightforward you have all the connections and the markers and then all you need to do is make sure you secure them as it was before now we're gonna test if everything is working again so I've preheated my nozzle and all you got to do is try extruding so I'm just gonna put like 20 millimeters here and you should be seeing movement like that or you see here in the core it's moving again or in the extruder gear that's it simple as that and obviously the final test is with some filament 
feed the filament in, try extruding again, and hopefully it will start coming out of the nozzle. Just like that. So that's a quick and easy fix. The wire itself, it's not too cheap. Uh, I found, I'll put the links in the description, but it's better than replacing the motherboard or the extruder. One last detail you need to be careful about if you replace the, the main uh, flat cable is that your printer can go all the way to the, the corner. So I'm gonna put the Z in 300, X in 300. My model is the, the plus one. So that's why I need to make sure it goes extended all the way to the right so I don't have that slack and all the way up so I will not uh, stretch the cable so yeah just make sure you put the cables in the right place So here my case it's extended I still have a bit of a slack on the X axis and a little bit on the Z axis so yeah everything looks okay and because I don't want this to happen again I found this model in Thingiverse I'm gonna leave the link in the description so it's just a little bracket extender that will hopefully uh, avoid a lot of the bending forces and the stresses that this cable suffers right in the, in the joint there so you just put the little bracket in, push that into the original bracket and slide that down. So that will extend a little bit, I think the live of the wire. Thanks for watching, see you next time.